Yep. So we have our, um, what's this? Tell it, stand it. In there. Right. You can tell me, I'll be typing because I still have the answer on my written sheet. So we have our 50 mils of mm -hmm. um, sodium hydroxide. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And we also have uh, 50 mils of two Probably molar. Nice. Uh, what's that? CH3OH. Is that literally acetic acid as well? Okay, that's yeah. acetic acid. Yeah. Well, hopefully, we've, we've got the concept the molar for this as well. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, and we have. Yeah, what else do we need to know? Okay, degrees are changed. So we have yep. from 22 degrees Celsius to 33.7 degrees Celsius. Perfect. Uh, I'm in agreement. Now right. we're going to make our equation. Yep, so what uh, are we going to write? Uh, so NaOH plus um, CH3OOH. So we can assume that there's going to be some water. Of it. Next. Yeah, I'm just going to write this myself quickly. Actually, I'll write it out at the end. doesn't matter. Okay, uh, so H2O plus, and it did the exact same thing as last time? Yes, it is. Well, it's different, but... Oh, it's the same. Okay, so then we're going to have water plus uh, C N A C E. Oh, no, CH. Oh, you Wait. just turned on my let me start it. Let me just start. Let me just start again. So we have NaCH3OO minus. Ding, 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 ding. And yes. Two. Okay. So Correct. And, and we're we balance in the same way. We're going to put a two in front of the, nope. the water. Mm -hmm. but do we not need to for this one? Balance. Oh, no, there's I no two. Lucky. There's no two. There's no two. Okay, there's that's right. It's not that's barium right. hydroxide with the two right here. There's none of that. That's why I say you're very lucky. This question is beautiful because you have no balancing to do. It's done. Very good. Uh, next, we're going to... What's um, step one? We um, heat now, figure out our heat, our heat transfer. Perfect. So I'm going to write it as if I was doing it in an exam. How many joules did we lose? Ding, 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 ding. All right, transfer. So, Let's do this. So what am I going to do? So we're going to formula. write our formula, yeah. Yep. Uh, so we have a Q equals M delta T. Do you like writing it this way instead of delta T? You just find it easier to remember. Changing, I, I... remembering... Sure, I can write delta T if you want. Because it's like writing delta T. Like but I can't write T delta T. Like I can't find delta, the symbol on this. I can oh, find yeah, 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 of course, of course. But I don't have it on this, but I can just do yeah. this. Right, yep. so let's do this. We can do this. I just remember delta always meaning change. Yep. And then just whatever it's put next to is changing. Correct. That is okay. correct. So now we're going to... Um, we're gonna find out what our temperature, um, find out our mass, our mass of whatever it is, is. So our mass is um, 100 milliliters. Yep, I am agreed. Do we want to put that in? Do you want to put that? We could put that in, um, in liters, if mm -hmm. you want to. This stuff you don't, don't have. To. Uh -uh. You don't have to. Okay. Uh -uh. Um, next we've got our specific heat capacity of our water. Yep. Perfect. Check. Then we've got our, our change in temperature, which is from 22 to 33.7. And we yep. get, let me see. I've got it on my piece of paper and I, mm -hmm, I'm waiting. Times 4.18. And we get, uh, 4,890.6. That's not what I got. Do you not get that? No. That's not what I got. Uh, I got 4,639. Let me just redo my calculation. That's strange. Yep, you're right. 4,800. That's strange. 
right? That's rules, remember? So, yep. next step, is it endo or is it exo? Uh, it is a endo, so we have gained some really? energy. Um, we have, yes. Yes, let's see. Not a minus. Next mm -hmm. step, we're going to... No, no, uh, no, 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 no. I'm looking at your question right here. You went from 22 to 33, so it's not endo. Oh, but why have we... Um, this does not compute. Uh, so Wait, let me double check something. Give me three seconds. Temperature has increased. Yeah, but that's strange. Okay, yep, you're right. Don't worry. Don't mind me. Yeah, so why why is it endo though? Like that's strange. Because it has increased in temperature. Yeah, but like why would those those two an acid plus a base? ever be anything but exo which is a bit yes, and depends on the base but these two are this pretty much the same as what we had before and that was like so like, that's a bit weird all right what's next um now we're going to find our actual um what's it called our moles our um molarity Times. Wait, mm, wait, 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 wait. I'm just reading my textbook quickly, and it says that if you're increasing in temperature, your your Q is still going to be negative. Hmm. We've got a discrepancy. We do. Let's double check. Yep, so it's endothermic. Interesting. So that let's is, continue. We've got our fast. What are we going to do after this? Uh, we need our, um, our molarity. So. Mm -hmm. So we have okay. our number. We, know, we, have, we want to figure out a number of moles. So um, how are we going to do that? We're going to find um, get our molarity times our volume. Mm hmm. So, so we have number of moles, we have, uh, which concentration are we going to use? I mean, which 1.5 molar, okay. So we need 1.5 times our uh Wait, where did you get 1.5 from? Wasn't it 1.5 molar? Oh, so no, it's 2 molar. No, it's 2. Okay, 2. It's 2. Okay. Yep, it's 2, two moles. Point. Yep, 2 yep. moles times our uh, volume. Yep. Our entire Oops. volume. I'll just have volume for that one. Yep. yep. And we're going to get an N, which yep. is equal to. Yep. Do you agree? I'll see what one point two. And then next All we right. have that. Since we've got that now. So now we're going to find out the official. Yep. Heat capacity per. Um, so then we put our, our joules two. over our miles. I mean, um, yeah, over our moles. So delta, delta H is equal to Q on N. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Perfect. So we're going to do what you said. We're going to do 4,890. And we're going to divide that by 0 0.1. Do you agree? Yeah. Cool. And what are we going to get as an answer? Let me see. <sighs> Uh, 48,900. Perfect. And remember, that's joules. So step four, joules. you change this pedantic, so joules. Now we just ch change it into kilojoules, divided by 1,000. Yep. So, so it's going to be uh, 40, um, 4,890. Oh, no, it's just 48. Okay, yeah, it's 48. Divided by 1,000. Cool. Done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was trying.
Cool. Uh, Jules. Now I've got to write this myself. Myself. Sure. For it. No worries. One second. No Just, worries. Um, here, can you see it if I put it like here? Yes, I can now. And then I have, I've got my next brushes set. Okay, we've got to do them quickly. The most important thing is your understanding what's going on. Are there models to describe the um the what um acids and acids and bases look like structurally? You like mean, there is for like there is for um other uh what's it called? Um You mean for like organic reactions where yeah, yeah. yeah, for like organic There is um, yeah, there is there is definitely a reaction for what happens. There there are models. Do you know those little stick figures with balls that you get to play with for organic? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. there's exactly the same. So you get, you do actually get to see what happens. Because acids like, and bases are considered organic, aren't they? No. No? Okay. Remember that acids and bases, I mean, not acid, organic chemistry is where you've got an organic molecule and an organic molecule is defined as a molecule that contains carbon and hydrogen. So yeah. I would agree with you about the acetic acid. So CHDCO minus is a carboxylic acid. So yes, I agree with you. That would be part of the um, organic chemistry. So you're partially correct. So in this situation, yeah. acid, yes, is part of the organic chemistry, but sodium hydroxide, yes, is not. Because it, it, it has no mm. carbon. It's, it's yeah, carbon some of them would be, though. I mean? I think I, I, can't, I think I remember what seeing what acetic acid looks like um, structurally. Yeah, you would be um, organic. Yeah. All right, how are you going? Don't acids have acids have that OH group on them or something? Uh, mm -hmm. So this one has a C double O bond between those two. Yep. And then the oxys carbon's also got an OH. Yeah. Right, you ready? Nearly. Let's take mm -hmm. this. Okay. 